Hi everyone, welcome back to the Java class. So let us continue the session to learn multi-threading in Java programming language. In today's session, you will learn yet another way to create multi-threaded application by implementing a runnable interface. So let us understand with the help of this example. So this example we have completed in our previous video session. So guys, if you have not watched that previous video session, so please watch it first then only you will be able to understand this example. In our previous video session, we have created a class number printer that implements runnable interface. Inside it, we have provided some body that the thread will execute. Now come to the main function. We have created the multiple instance of a thread and we have started the thread. So that example we have done in our previous video session. So in today's session, you will learn yet another way to create a thread by implementing a runnable interface. Sometimes there is a situation you would like to create a thread that will execute only once or you would like to create a micro thread that always execute on the background of your applications. So in that case, you will create a micro thread or the thread is known as the anonymous thread. So in today's session, guys, you will learn how to create an anonymous thread. So let me help you to understand how to create an anonymous thread that always execute on the background or sometimes you would like to execute the thread only once inside an application. So let me just remove this part. It is not required. So I will just remove this part. Okay. So this body of the run method I will remove, right? I will just remove this part also implementing runnable interface. It is not required or I will just get rid of it also. These parts are not required and even I will just remove this and this also, right? So here I will just write thread one dot start and I will remove this, this part completely, right? And I will remove this part. It is not required. So here you can see what we are doing. We have created a class number printer. Inside it, we have a main method or we are creating a child thread. We are creating a child thread or a micro thread. So you are creating an instance of a thread. Thread one is equal new thread or inside it, I will create the anonymous thread. So how will you create the anonymous thread? You will simply create an instance of a runnable interface. So you can create an instance of runnable interface. Inside it, it will automatically override the run methods. So inside run method, you can provide the body of run method. So let us move to our previous example or from this example, we can just copy the body of this run method. So I will just copy this part and I will come to the this class and I will provide the body of the run method so here we go you can see right so inside this run method we have created the body and inside it i will just simply display the value of i here so i will remove this part and we are just adding some random time that is okay so i will just display the value of a variable i here right so this is your guys anonymous thread and this is the run method that contains the body of a thread. This body of a thread will execute from 0 to less than or equal 10. And this thread instance, we have created thread 1 and you are starting the thread, thread one dot start. So let us save this program and let us run it and you will see what will be the output of it. So here we go. You can see it is showing 0, 1, 2, 3 and it will iterate from 0 to 10. So you can see this is a micro thread and we are not just creating the multiple threads. So sometimes there is a situation you would like to create a thread that will execute on the, back, on the background. So this thread doesn't have any name. This is the anonymous thread. Even you can remove the instance of this thread also. It is not required. Let me help you to understand how will you create a micro thread or anonymous thread in Java programming language. You can remove this part or simply you can write the new thread or in order to start the thread, you can just call the start function here and you can remove this part. You will get rid of it. Just remove this part or 
let us run this program so here you can see you have created the anonymous thread and here we go you can see the output that is showing from 0 1 2 3 till 10 so guys here we are just creating anonymous thread or a micro thread that will always execute on the background so this thread will improve the performance of your applications or you can create such kind of thread such kind of micro thread when you would like to execute some thread on the background so it doesn't have any garbage collection so this thread will be created in the memory and this thread will just finish in the memory also there is no need of garbage collections or anything this thread will execute on the background when your application will be start so guys i hope you understand the concept of creating the anonymous thread and how will you just start this thread so this is a create this is a way to create a thread in the similar way you can create the multiple anonymous thread also so there is no limitations of it so guys i hope you understand this concept of creating a micro thread or anonymous thread so guys thanks for watching this videos if you like this video so please write your write your feedback in the comment section bye bye for now have a great day